tell me who you've got coming over for the Arlington Million next week. Yeah, we've got eight horses coming in, uh, Laura. We've got uh, five from Aidan O'Brien. Um, we've also got Awesome Tank for William Haggis of the Beverly D. And we've also got uh, an interesting French runner called Intelligent from Fabrice Chappé. And Piverween, uh, there's Andrew Boarding and King Power. And interestingly, that will be ridden by Sylvester Souza, champion jockey in having his first ride in Chicago. Great that Sylvester's coming over. Is it hard to get the jockeys over? No, it's not hard. I mean, the weights are quite low, so that has an effect on things. And also, it's quite a struggle to get back from France for the Free Jacques Le Marois. Mm -hmm. But um, we're hoping they'll be able to fly back to England and then catch a private plane back to Deauville. And Aidan O'Brien, always a big supporter of, of racing over here, he's sending a strong team? Yeah, he's got uh, five coming in. We've got Hunting Horn for the Arlington Million, a very nice filly called Magic Wand, who's in the million, and she's also cross entered in the Beverly D. And we'll make our choice later on when we know what the fields are going to be. Um, and then we've got Fleeting for the Beverly D, a uh, very nice three year old, who I think has got a very good chance, although Indian, uh, the, the filly of Chad Brown's is very, is very hard to beat, um, Sister Charlie. And then we have um, a couple for him as well in the Secretariat Stakes. And they are Never No More and Van Beethoven and the Secretariat this year is very unusual in that it's a grade one race as it has always been but we've changed the distance this year it's going to be at a mile uh, 1600 metres rather than 10 furlongs. Just looking at Arlington down the years it's been a really good hunting ground hasn't it for the Euros? Yeah we love Arlington um, it's been going it's the very first million dollar race in, in the world and it's obviously got a lot of prestige in that regard trainers love to go there it's ideally placed and it's a springboard to future success I've done every Arlington since 1986 Estrapard and Charlie Whitting was the first winner, had lots of uh, success as you say and Aidan O'Brien particularly has found it a happy hunting ground. And we're at Saratoga at the moment and it could be a bit of history, maybe the first European horse to run in the four star day of a grade one next week on the tough. Yeah, really excited. Sam Christopher's uh, been had a good look through the condition book and found a race for Astilio, uh, owned by Shepman Bin O'Bide, I'm at Tomb, and uh, it's great. It's a group one race, but it's a handicap, which is unusual uh, by European standards, but uh, it's over a mile and I believe Andrea Razzini is going to come in and ride him. That's super, super race planning, it, it really is, because it's not the strongest grade one, I don't think. No, he's going to arrive here um, the week before and he'll be uh, training here on the Oklahoma track probably uh, for the first week and uh, it's going to, I'm not sure yet, we're we'll going to get the weights out later on today and we'll know then what's going to run. And just looking at Saratoga, the IRB involved very much in a sort of different way this year because this new turf triple, tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, I worked for Naira for 25 years, but it's the first time we really had much involvement in, in Saratoga. Um, a lot of the big races here are dirt races, which don't particularly appeal to the Europeans, but um, we've launched this new turf triple, so we're replicating the uh, triple crown, but on turf. We, we started out with the Belmont Derby and Oaks at Belmont. We're now here at Saratoga for uh, the uh, Saratoga Derby and Oaks, and then we'll be going back in September to Belmont for a mile and a half races, million dollar races, called the uh, Jockey Club Derby and Oaks. And it's been, been well supported again by, by Bally Doyle? Well, typically Aidan and Brian. And, you know, he's very supportive of all these big initiatives and uh, the money's fantastic, a million dollars, they, they love this and so he's done a couple of horses in the Phillies race, he was um, second and fourth with his Phillies in the Saratoga Oaks and he's running very good horses called Mohawk and Cape of Good Hope in the Saratoga Derby.